Let's turn now to James from Jacksonville. James, how can we help you tonight? Yes, uh, I'm a veteran uh, and I had four years in the, in the Air, uh, Air Force and then 18 years out at the Birmingham Airport with the Air Guard. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm having breathing problems that they can't, my doctors can't seem to diagnose. Mm -hmm. And I know right when I retired out from the Air Guard, that they were doing a study on JP4 and JP8 jet fuel, and I worked in the in the uh, fuel shop exposed to those fuels, and I was wondering if you had any uh, knew anything about that study and how I would go about uh, uh, finding out about that study. I, I don't know about that study in particular, but I do know that the VA has issued some new regulations very recently where uh, additional con conditions are presumptively service connected. There's a lot of study and research going on right now about fuel exposures, cleaning solvents. Everybody knows about Agent Orange, but military service members are exposed to all kinds of chemicals. Uh, in, a, in addition to just dust and uh, smoke and everything else. So uh, you, may, you may very well benefit from that. I'm sorry, I don't know about any particular study about JP4 jet fuel, uh, but again, your local VA office, I expect would encourage you to file a claim and trigger the entitlement to benefits and the VA's duty to assist you whenever you file a claim. Is the local office, is that something where someone needs to call and set up an appointment, or is it just a walk-in? Most of them right now are setting appointments uh -huh. um, with the COVID. Um, right. I don't know the, the office that I'm most familiar with in Etowah County uh, requires appointments, requires call ahead. They get you in quickly, right. uh, but they require calls ahead. Uh, I can't speak for any of the other counties. I, I'm familiar with that one, but right now, absent an appointment, um, the, you, won't, you wouldn't be able to get in. They'll make the appointment for you at the door, but they're booked up. Do they ask you to go ahead and fill out some stuff online, or uh, is it just, you know, show up with what, and what, what do they need to show up they with? Will, they will encourage the veteran to fill out as much information as they can online. They'll uh -huh. tell the veteran to go to va.gov, and you can learn a lot about VA claims, VA benefits, the process. There's a lot of forms mm -hmm. in VA. Uh, and you, if, you, if you pursue a claim, you're going to fill out a lot of forms, some of them multiple times. And yes, they, they'll encourage that, and they'll also encourage bring whatever documents you have.